So what's up guys? Today I want to dive in the topic of cognitive liberty which I just recently researched about but then uh, slightly connected to freedom of thought. I think I have some good ideas as well other than um, the word itself of cognitive liberty but essentially what I understand is cognitive liberty is um, having your own thought having your own liberty, your freedom of thought, right, to experiment with your mind. And I think that uh, this is the positive thing about this is it makes it more conscious, probably as a human, we make it more conscious on our belief system and our thoughts. So the more we become more conscious, I think that um, it is a positive way to go through life for growth as well. And uh, to not repeat as well the um, biology of um, probably the the negative uh, things that uh, experience in our life, like um, hunger, um sadness depression war i think um it is usually this happens because of unconscious thoughts and um feeling of separateness as a human so i think that um when we are in this kind of state of being separateness lacking uh, feeling of uh, poverty in this feeling states create um turmoil and destruction in us in us so I think um, if we connect this to cognitive liberty, the ability to experiment with our uh, consciousness and our mind, the more we realize that um, there are certain vibration and consciousness which are more slightly positive. And uh, the more we dive deep in our consciousness, we become more slightly more positive as well because we are shining the light on our on our shadow on our unconsciousness but it would not be an easy task as well because it it may not be physical but it's psychological um, because changing a belief itself is uh, is uh, kind of hard especially if we have an ego because essentially we have an ego we try to have an image of ourselves uh what we um, view ourselves because if we are always um, in a state of always thinking and always observing ourselves and being um, lighting on the unconscious we are now there will be a point where we'll where we will be we don't know we we just like i don't know anymore who am i because you already question your thoughts you already question your belief but i think that um the more we ca question our belief uh we might come into a conclusion which is we understand that we are together we are one positivity so I think that uh, same as building muscles, there will be a point that it will be hard to wait, lift weight. But after that, that muscle will strengthen and grow and renew and regenerate itself. Uh, same as in our mind, same as in our belief. We might change our belief by um, questioning those um, thoughts. And after that, those would change. But before, in the middle of that, there would be a turmoil because you have no grounding yet. You don't know where you ground. You don't know where where you put your, probably your belief aside. Where do, where do you anchor it? Because w the only time you can only change a belief, belief is when you are unanchored through those beliefs and you are just an observer of those thoughts. So... I think that um, that's the wrap of my video about about cognitive liberty and and I thank you for watching my videos about um, deep psychology stuff. If you want more of this video, please like and follow my videos. Take care, guys, and peace.